We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Welcome to GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio. I'm Ro Williams. And I'm Trisha Mann Grant. And this <laughs> is the music edition. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Ooh, we got sis. a great show today. I know, we've got a you. bunch. I know I miss you. Yeah. I feel like it's been a long, 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 yeah. long, 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 long time. Well, for <laughs> those of you who have been tuning in, prior to the Word Edition, we ran two programs of the Man Talk Edition. So hopefully Yay. you got a chance to check that out. Um, but last week, girl, I was in studio. I wasn't sitting. I was backstage you I was assisting you but uh, uh, Pastor yeah. Don Turner Connor was in the house oh, and uh, she that. had a representative from the school uh, uh-huh. board here uh, as well as another pastor who is who uh, was uh, working in her community at the voting polls and it was in, it, the topic Woo! was why it is important for Christians to get out and vote in this election, in any election. Uh-huh. And so we had some callers call in that I'm sure. had some issues and some challenges and girl I mean <sighs> Personally, I'm really glad that we have Barack Obama. Yes, yes congratulations, Woo, Obama! Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it was. I, I, I don't know if you watched it, and if you went through the anxiety that I did. I, I actually did. didn't tune in till I, I. It was like, okay, you need to get ready to announce because mm-hmm. it's been all day. So, mm-hmm. kudos to uh, President Barack Obama. That's right, congrats. Yeah, and for those whose candidate didn't win, this is the United States of America, and it, you know, it's like yeah. it, it had. Mitt Romney got in, I would have to say, hey, right. you know, God, so it shall be written, so it shall be done. So yeah. we Ooh. just got to kind of, mm. you know, grab a hold of that scripture <laughs> for you Christians that says you can do all things through Christ, Amen. including getting over the loss. That's Amen. right. <laughs> I Amen. Love it, I love it. <laughs> yes, definitely. Congratulations. And we were also at the Kids in the Spotlight. Yes, yeah. we were holding the red carpet. Yay. We got a couple of with you and the little cheerings. Uh, kudos to Miss Jessie, who was uh, one of our sponsors there. She, uh, uh, one of the partners, they were actually in the studio on our very first show this year in support of uh, what we're doing here. So we wanted to give them some love because they provided the bags. And as you can see, the cute little kitties on the red carpet that were participating. <laughs> oh. in program and so gosh. it was really exciting also yeah. some celebrities like Kenny Latimer came out you interviewed oh, him so what was that like Kenny, oh you know what I met Kenny years ago mm-hmm. and he was such a sweetheart he's always consistently been amazing and just been a warm loving person Kenny I got so much love for you I heart you Kenny Latimer <laughs> and always I'm telling you always interviewing him is a pleasure yeah. because He's just all about supporting, mm-hmm. and that's what he was there for. He's not, he's so humble. Speaking I mean, of supporting. You know, I think he's supporting what? what? I see somebody's daughter on the red carpet doing interviews. What was oh, that? Like? No, no, no. She did one interview because there was a, a guy that she watches. Was it Pretty Little Liars? I, I should for those of you who don't know, that. what's her name? Give her, give my, her a shout My out. daughter's name is Dina Yopa, and so she said, Mommy. I, I just wanted to take a picture with him, and I said, you know what, come here. Why don't you ask him a few questions? I saw your face, because you walked up, and you were like, I think we do we have a picture of that Shante. I think I might have pulled a picture of that for you. Well, Cena looked at Shantae and was like, what is going on here? I got Trisha on the carpet. <laughs> no. So why is Dina No, I knew, I, knew, I knew you were breaking her in. You know, yeah, how you were doing mama's day. I am not yeah. mad at you. That's but a little chicklet. Right, right. And she started off a little shy, but then, I before just, came in, she was just She on. did it. She wow. busted out, asked a good question. I was like, why didn't I think of that question? That was really good. Well, speaking yeah. of kids, what do you, you know, you interviewed some of the kids that actually went through the program, you know, oh, and for gosh. those of you who aren't familiar, it's uh, Kids in the Spotlight, mm-hmm. KITSinc.org mm-hmm. is a nonprofit organization that, su- that we support, mm-hmm. and uh, they they afford at risk youth, youth yes. in their foster care programs or, or group homes, mm-hmm. an opportunity to attend a 10 week training workshop where they go through the process of learning everything that goes into filmmaking, everything from the writing mm-hmm. to directing to casting to makeup up to Mm -hmm. you know the just everything all the behind the scenes front of the camera, the acting, and they actually write film shorts, and the celebration of the film festival, the culmination of their efforts, so yeah. it's, it's, it's so exciting to see them blossom, and uh, I it's mean, you've got a chance wonderful. to actually speak one-on-one with each Right, other. and I think, what is this? Is this my second or third? This is third, third year. year. This is my third year being with you guys, Yay. and let's talk about Ty Jiggy, because she's the one Oh, yeah, we got a picture of her and her little new baby. She was pregnant oh, this, my that, this time last year, Dad, but I got a picture boy. of her and Abby Jewel. <sighs> That's the founder. Is that her name? Ebony Ebony Jewel. 
She mm -hmm. is a little Ebony Jewel, too, let me yeah. tell you. That little sweet baby. I just wanted to just take her and kiss and, uh, her I, little And kid. actually, uh, we have a picture of her and her husband when you were interviewing them. Antonio. At the, um, oh. The, 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 the F, what was it? The oh, I know. The Film American. Festival. Uh, okay. The P. A. F. F. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. <laughs> Woods. Wait. Okay, David Wood, we know. It's too many Film Festival. Yeah, you say yeah, it. You sounded so better saying it. Okay. Sh wow. Shout out to them. <laughs> but today... It's yes. a music edition today. So tell us about who we have in the house today. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> we have CJ <laughs> Emmons. And CJ, he's been influenced by Shaka Khan, Whitney Houston, Patti LaBelle. And I'm going to tell you, he's actually worked with Shaka Khan and Whitney Houston and uh, Stevie Wonder. And uh, he's a Grammy, le well, let me stop here. A Grammy Award winning music engineer named Reggie, Reggie Dozier actually said, putting CJ Emmons in a box is like taking the guitar away from Hendrix. Wow. Now imagine taking the guitar away from Hendrix. Wow. That's what it's like if uh, you put this man in a box because he's got an operatic uh, sound, he's got a gospel sound, he's got a pop sound, an R&B sound, he's all mixed up in the one. So you're going to be entertained. Let me tell you, this brother's entertaining. Now it's hard to shut him up. So you can't just shut up C.J. Emmons. <laughs> he don't shut up. You have to actually pull him off the stage and take the microphone away from him. He's here so I can say these things. But uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna get to know him and yes. actually get an opportunity to know him and get you you guys get acquainted. He's actually going to perform. He's amazing. For us. Yay, C.J. Yay. And he's from Houston. So all you Texas people out there, all you Texans, how y'all doing? Make sure you support him. Make sure you support him. We'll give you his website and everything later. Okay. We'll be right back, so make sure that you tweet and get on your uh, Facebook and any other social networking thing yes. that you do, Tumblr, uh, Instagram, girl. whatever you got to do, yeah. make it happen, all right? We'll be right back with more <laughs> GospelWitness.com Talk Live Radio with your girl, Ro. And your girl, Trish, heaven's party here, here on, on Earth. Earth. <laughs> Place the stars in the sky, make the moon shine brightly. Woke you up with the sun shining through your window. Sing you a serenade every time the wind blows. See the earth in all of its beauty. It all came from me. Take the time to look above And you'll know you can't sing about love Without singing about me Sing about me Without singing about me Without singing about me Grow for Sickle Cell, and Sickle Cell has waged a war against our community, and it's time to fight back. What is Sickle Cell? Sickle Cell disease is an inherited blood disorder where your red blood cells do not get enough oxygen. Over 100,000 people in the United States are affected by Sickle Cell. 100,000 people? Yes. How can we help? Join me today in the fight against Sickle Cell by visiting me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter at Grow for Sickle Cell. That's G-U-R-L, the number four, Sickle Cell. Again, G-U-R-L, the number four, Sickle Cell. Let's stop the war today. Hi, this is Susie Pruden. 
And yes, you've seen me on Oprah, Good Morning America, and The Today Show. And I'm inviting you to join me every Monday from 3 to 4 for my new show, Mastermind Live. Join us as we introduce you to the new thought leaders of the world who will inspire you, support you, and guide you to your next level. So don't forget to tune into Mastermind Live exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch us on Ustream TV. Reality Radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live and we are more than just talk. Hi, this is Dr. Levi, your fitness doctor, making a personal house call. Inviting you to join me Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific for my all-new show, The Dr. Levi Show. Join us as we discuss fitness, health, and well-being, including emotional and spiritual health. So don't forget to tune in to The Dr. Levi Show every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific, exclusively on LATalkLive.com and the Talk Live Broadcast Network. You can also catch us on iTunes, Radio R&B, or watch us on Ustream.tv, or catch us on the Live 365 Network, and now on Radio Flag and Stitcher Radio, Reality Radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Hey, welcome back to GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio on LATalkLive.com I'm Ro Williams And I'm Trisha Man Grant Hey y'all What's cracking? <laughs> and this is our music edition Yeah, yeah hey. We have a very special guest here very, today very with us Mr. C.J. Emmons, how you doing? I'm doing very good. Very, very good. Very good. Thank y'all for having me. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I just had the opportunity to see C.J. Uh, just the other night at Victor Orlando's right. big 6040 60th, celebration. Yeah. 60th party. And yeah. he only looks like he's like, what, 45? I know, my 40 something. See, I want to yeah. look that good. Yeah. Can we all? <laughs> can we all? Yes. Yeah. Can we all? So what, what are you up to now? You did a fantastic job. Thank you. And, Thank you. And uh, you just... You you love to sing. You have such a passion. You know, it. it's it's my God gift, mm-hmm. and I and I try to fully operate in it when I'm performing. So, yeah, I I I think the nicest thing anyone can tell me is you're doing a good job, and the nicest reply you can say is thank you. Yes, that's there all. You Just say thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Or <laughs> thank God. Yeah. I, hey. <laughs> amen. Always. Uh, always. Yeah. <laughs> now, how yeah. long have you been in the business? I have been in the business since I was. Three. Mm. Since it's, I was three, I was doing local um, commercials and things in Houston and yes. singing at everybody's talent show in Houston. Yes. Um, I used to sing at talent shows with Beyonce when I was a kid and we used to do uh, talent shows and things together. And um, yeah, so I've been singing since I was three. So how does one, was it your parents who unearthed this great gift that you, know, you had? Like who discovered you really? I just recently asked my mom that question. Um, she didn't know I could sing. She said a friend of hers um, that I guess used to keep me or something um, when she was working, you called and said, um, you know, your son can sing. And she was like, yeah, right. My son can't sing because I don't come from musical parents. Uh-huh. I don't. Nobody in my family really are singers except for like aunts that are my grandmother's sisters and things like that. But nobody in the immediate household. And uh, she said, yeah, right. So um, <laughs> she said, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right, so yeah, I think we were at a, a talent show in the community or something like that. And I started singing. And she said it just she she didn't know what to think. She was like, Where did this come from? And I remember my first song being uh Whitney Houston's uh A few stolen moments, here's all that was shared. And so that's, how that's wow. what that's what put it on. Yeah, that's yeah. what put it on. Yeah. Now you're only child, you have brothers. I have an older siblings? sister. I have an older sister. How uh, okay. So yeah. she's she marveling at your talent? No, like? she my sister has a um bunch of successful businesses in Houston. Mm-hmm. Um she used to dance. 
and um no but she didn't do anything in, in the arts at all hmm. um she would actually her and the rest of the family would always get on me for singing too much so oh, once, <laughs> once, once you were out oh, it, i wonder what was the no, song that, that won you over was it the alphabet you. like what song were you um, rocking as a three-year-old yeah, as a three it, it, it was the whitney houston song <laughs> oh that's just oh, yeah wow. it was it, it, I, and i remember that i remember um being at that talent show my mom put me on a um it was this three-piece gray suit and it had a light teal bluish uh, thing oh oh yeah it had a big old afro and yeah and i remember um i was humming the the, the words because they played the song and she was like you want to sing and i was like yeah 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 and they gave me the mic and i went on stage and sang it so wow. but she said i was talking early i was talking like at a, at a year and a half so see yeah i don't know yeah. i couldn't have had you as a child yeah, like, <laughs> somebody take him <laughs> talking ever choke, since. choke this child <laughs> wow yeah, okay. yeah. well listen you you mentioned whitney mm -hmm. you've worked with her i did not get a chance to work with her okay. that that was the thing um but the way god has blessed me with it i've got a chance to work on everything since she's been you know since she's passed uh, so tributes, um okay. i got to do all the major tributes that have mm -hmm. been done with her including the one that's coming up on november uh, 16th mm -hmm. on cbs which is the clive davis uh, grammy salute to whitney houston wow and um i've met her family numerous times um her mother was absolutely wonderful um, when i first met her she um she was sitting inside of this room uh, where they were holding different artists. And I was speaking with uh, Ray Chu, who Ray Chu always books me in a lot of things. Shout out to Ray Chu and the crew. Hey, Ray Chu. <laughs> Ray Chu. And uh, <laughs> she was sitting there. I didn't realize it was her. And so I went in to speak to Ray Chu's assistant. And when I walked in, she looked dead at me. And I said, oh, uh, uh, how are you, Miss Houston? And I reached out my hand. And she actually gave me a hug. And she says, how are you, baby? And I said, I'm good. <laughs> and um, she said, you look like a singer. And uh, I said, well, I am. And I uh, gave her another hug. And I walked out. And, and and I guess when I was in the hallway, I was like, oh, I went to use the mother. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I, yeah, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That, she and, was so incredible of a vocalist. Oh, Just oh, yeah. incredible. Her voice yeah, was the, Her loss was definitely a, a, a shocker. I don't think it's, it's a day that goes by I have not thought about Whitney Houston. Yeah. It's like a family member. I, I, yeah, I think, yeah. But just how you know i've been just so blessed and fortunate to work on these major projects with her family and um, just in honor of her name and her spirit and i mean every single you know person for the last uh 30 years i can say has been influenced by whitney houston i mean every singer that has that is now has been influenced in some way by whitney houston and i yeah. think that's huge mm -hmm. you know huge mm -hmm. accomplishment and mm -hmm. and i know her mother said in an interview that's what she wanted for her daughter she wanted people to look up to her daughter mm -hmm. and say you know she taught me something so Beautiful. yeah definitely yeah so you have an album i do i do let's talk about that um it's coming out mm -hmm. um i did release it i did a soft release last year and then i pulled it back what? um Everything is on God's timing. Okay. Seriously, everything is on God's yeah. timing. And I didn't feel it was right. Didn't feel it was the right time. And uh, right now, um, I got uh, a nice marketing team together. Good. And uh, yeah, so we're going to pretty much launch it uh, yeah. later on next year. And um, it's entitled Whatever Happened to Christopher Germain. Um, I've been keeping that title. Um, uh -huh. And it's gonna be big. And why, it's, it's why gonna did be you big. name it that? Because you're that's CJ. Well, yeah, CJ Christopher is yeah Jermaine. Christopher Jermaine. Uh -huh. But um, I guess the weird side of me is uh, you remember the movie Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, and uh, starring Joan Crawford, yeah. Betty Davis. Oh yeah, why I, all baby dolls and all this CJ. craziness? Yes, yes. How baby? How did you correlate the two? <laughs> Yeah. Well, <laughs> what's well, almost probably like a a, a, a a autobiographical album that that oh unfolds. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, like Every... Usher's, Usher's confession. Oh yeah, this is whatever oh, happened. Yeah. We gonna find out what I'm, happened I'm to CJ you, on this know, journey. <laughs> what's your what's your favorite song on there? My favorite song on there uh, would. I actually have two that I love equally. Mm -hmm. uh, one is Walk Away, okay, and the other is Entertaining Angels. And what's Entertaining Angels about? Entertaining Angels, I took from the scripture, um, beware of entertaining strangers because they may be angels in disguise. Yes. And the producer, there are actually two producers of this uh, um, song. Uh, one is David Smith, who's also a fellow Texan. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other is Grant Nicholas, who um, was the musical director for Maya and for John B. And uh, Smitty, we call him Smitty David Smith. Uh, he had this track 
And Grant sent it to me and says, hey, you know, we were on the completion of the album. And he says, you need a world track. You need a world track. I was like, I don't want to do no world song, man. <laughs> He's like, no, you need to do one. You need to do one. So he sent me the track. And on a plane ride from uh, Houston, I uh, sang the lyrics into my iPod. And this lady who was sitting next to me, she says, you're a singer. And I said, well, yes, ma'am, I am. And um, just I just these words came to my head. Mm-hmm. And um, I knew then it was literally God speaking to my spirit because everyone who's heard this song um, either breaks down in tears, makes mm-hmm. them think, um, makes them um, just want to do and be better. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and we yeah, Entertaining track, Angels. So. Yeah, when we oh, go good. To, when we oh, go, oh, when we go to commercial, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll play that. Yeah, it's uh, one of my favorites. Wait, you know he actually wrote that song about me. <laughs> well, I just, well, I tell well you know the Trish, because hey, Trish is an angel. Yeah, yeah, she is. Well, I did, I did write every single song on my album. I did write every single song about it. Yeah, that's good. Well, let me add, um, that's that's, that's an accomplishment. Now, what category of music would, do? you you know, somebody who's listening who doesn't know who you are, your music, and you knew, like, what category of music do you fall under? Do you fit Prince in a category? Iconic category (laughs) all by Uh, himself. There you go. There you go. I got But if someone's scrolling through iTunes, like, Mm -hmm. where would they find your music? You find me under (laughs) C.J. Emmons. Okay, they just so I get you. what you're saying. What yeah. you're saying I is, get what is you're it saying. R&B? You know, yeah, it, it, is, is it R&B? Is it, you know... Um, well, it's not. You it, know, it's it, not it's, a gospel album because you have entertaining angels. I yeah, just wanted it's to make not some a gospel clarification. Album. It's, um, it, you, you know, just in layman's terms, it is an R&B album. It's R&B... Um, alternative R&B. Because mm-hmm. I sent you guys a lot of the songs um, that showcase just the smooth side. But there's also the pop rock stuff that's on there i have funk on there i have Mm -hmm. so i mean it's it's really eclectic it's it's hard to put it in a box and and i meant for it to be that way because i do um a lot of things vocally i do a lot of things theatrically so i wanted it to be um reflection of your journey right and i I didn't want it to be put in a box i mean CeeLo green janelle monet they're they've opened that door um, bruno mars they've opened that door Mm -hmm. for young artists such as myself to expand (sighs) and to not have their records being put in a box and just say you know what this is just good music yeah and that's what it is yeah you love it or you don't yeah Yeah, you know and i'm sure you've experienced a a person or two in your past that just didn't get you oh please yeah of course of course of course you know I think that, um, and there's a song for that too, um, <laughs> <laughs> but mostly I think that uh, this this album, because it is a personal truth journey, um, that someone uh, can relate to it. I mean, there's one song that I have called Demons. Um, I should have sent you guys that one. That's a good one. I don't want uh, no demons. No, 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 no. This one is actually talking about no. <laughs> this is actually um, a, a redemption song. It's talking about a guy who's been, um, you know, going through um, some dark demons, and the demons are calling wow. him, and they're chasing him. Mm-hmm. And the end of it, he goes to God. Mm-hmm. And so, um, a lot of my things are Bible influenced. Um, of course, good. I'm, you know, I'm a Christian. I, I grew up right. in the church, so, um, and a lot of things are, you know, subliminal. Uh, it, 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 it's really. It's really a well-rounded album, and and I and I wanted it to stand out, and I want people to say, "What did happen to Christopher Jermaine?" Yes. So yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, I took yeah. I took myself out of a box that most people who come to my shows thought that I would do, mm-hmm. and I did something that has been very true to me that I've always wanted to do, and you'll find that in um, whatever happened to Christopher Jermaine dot com. Oh, I'm sorry, Christopher Jermaine. You can also go to cjemmons.com mm-hmm. and uh, hear some of the tracks on there, too. And the other night when I interviewed you on the red carpet, mm-hmm. uh, you said, Trisha, thank you for remi- for remembering to call me CJ. Yeah, yeah. But yet your album is Christopher Jermaine. Christopher so Jermaine, I, yeah. I get it. I, yeah. I like that whole thing. So yeah. that way people will know either CJ or Christopher Jermaine. No, no. Christopher Jermaine is just actually the initials <clears throat> of CJ. I know. Uh, yeah, everybody mm-hmm. knows me, you know, b- before um, NBC, the singing bee, mm-hmm. as Christopher. Chris. Chris. So yeah, but I just wanted to just wanted to let everybody know that um, C.J. Emmons, Christopher Jermaine, same person, but uh, nice. just on a different 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 level, different scale. He's just I'm, trying to yeah. confuse us all. That's I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Well, I'm all the same. I to add, just to scroll back a little bit. So you you were discovered that uh, your abilities were discovered at three. Yeah. You've worked. We fast forwarded. You've worked with Barry Gordy, yeah. Jennifer Lopez. Mm-hmm. What happened in between? We know even Beyonce. We yeah. know she did so many things to mm-hmm. try to get in from star search to the girls group to a lot of rejections from different labels yeah. from her mm-hmm. or when her father trying to hustle oh, her yeah. along oh, yeah. like what was your journey like between the three years to today like what, what was it that was that uh 
pivotal person or that event mm-hmm. that kind of kind of brought you maybe to California where it yeah. all began to open up for you? You know, my mom um, was very, very um, adamant about me not necessarily being in this business because she didn't want it to tear me down. She had, you know, seen what uh, uh, this business does to kids and she wanted this more for it to be a hobby for me. Mm-hmm. And I understood that because she didn't know what to do with me. I totally got that. She really didn't. Um, but doing all these talent shows and stuff, she never denied me any any part of me being creative. Like if I wanted to write on the wall, she let me do it. If I mm-hmm. wanted to put bulletin boards on her door, she let me do it. Oh, if, nice. if I wanted to Cut tear your hair up, and do... tear, yeah, tear up magazines and and make mm-hmm. collages out of them, she let me do it. Yeah, I always geez. had a keyboard in the house. Yeah. Um, I always had um, a karaoke machine in the house. I used to hang my microphone from the ceiling fan, and mm. I would play like I'm in a you know recording studio. Um, I'm telling you, you could have been my child. Yeah, yeah, there, there, right there, <laughs> somebody was going to do that right yeah. now. They're like, hey, yeah. where yeah. you started at? Yeah, the yeah. Band. I mean, it was great practice. Um, <laughs> so I think when I started getting serious about it was um at about 14. Um, I entered my first professional production in Houston at the Ensemble Theater, and also at the Encore Theater with Mr. Harold Haynes down there in Houston. If y'all listening, wow. And Shut um. Up. <laughs> uh, she said, okay, you're, you're serious about this. So then we started doing talent shows and then we started even more mm-hmm. and then auditioning and um, uh, again, ran into Beyonce. Knew LaToya went to school with I. Mm-hmm. And um, so we were just in that whole circle. My mom, when it was time for me to get that big audition, which it did come, my mom was like, you know what? No, 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 no. This is not for you. I'm pulling you out. You're taking your butt back to school. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to go through this. So she held me back from it. Um, and I resented for a while. I did. I had resentment because I'm like, you know, mom, this is my dream. This is my journey. Mm-hmm. Um, she told me, she said she couldn't handle me going through um, anything that tremendous. And and if I lost it, she couldn't handle it. So she didn't think that I had, you know, enough in me to mm-hmm. handle it either. So um, and then I didn't sing anymore. I didn't sing mm-hmm. from 15 up until about. 17. Okay, so I it didn't, was 15 when she pulled you out. Yeah, 15 when she pulled me out. And yeah. was, so that was a little bit traumatic for you? Yeah, because so... I didn't, you know, I, I wanted to focus on acting. I was like, fine, if I can't sing, I'm just going to be a straight actor. Mm-hmm. Boom, I'm not going to do anything anymore. I'm just going to act, act, act. And all my awards and everything from high school in and outside of high school are for acting. Like, um, I got a scholarship for acting. It was just all acting, acting, acting. And then um, I did a play uh, in Houston called Dream Girls, and that sparked it back up so i was mm. like okay i think i want to do this again i think i want to do this again because uh, you can have the best of both worlds yeah act dancing. yeah act right. dancing um but i uh, graduated high school and uh i stayed in houston went to school and was like all right what do i want to do do i want to move to california do i not do i want to move to california do i not so i waited about two years year and a half <laughs> and uh i packed up my car and my room and did not tell my mom i was leaving <gasps> She was in Mississippi visiting my grandmother. <laughs> I told her I was going to my cousin's graduation. I had booked a flight. Little did she know I was actually in the car driving here at 20 years old. So, wow. yeah. yeah. So what did, and that's what how did she say? How did she respond to She that? didn't find out until I was about five hours away. I was, in, <laughs> I was like in Phoenix. She can't get me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was your car or her it car? It was my car. Well, it was my checking. car, yeah. Okay. She she called me and uh, I got the voice message because my phone was in and out. I was in the desert. And uh, when I finally got the message, she says, I hear that you're driving to California. So call me when you get this message. So about that time, I was like an hour and a half away from L.A. Uh, (laughs) Called her and uh, she was crying on the phone and she was like, you know what? I know now that you're going to make it. And, you know, you you step into your manhood. I love you for that. And um, wow. you go ahead and, and, and do what you got to do. She you know, go ahead. She said, yeah. My yeah. baby She's is amazing. gone. Yeah. Yeah. I still wow. would have uh, take, gotten on a plane and come out yeah. here and spanked you up behind. <laughs> You didn't even say goodbye. Get yeah, yeah. That's terrible. I mean, my mom wouldn't have let me go. I'm her, I'm her baby. She wouldn't have let All me go. So I, I had to know. make that step. I got yeah, you. Yeah. So now she looks at you and she says, "She can't stop bragging." <laughs> That's my baby. Oh, oh Lord! Yeah, every so time I, I, I know she, she, my mom instills such great values in me. I mean, she, um, she, she her thing was always work, work hard, mm. work, work, work. And my grandmother always said, "You keep a roof over your head." That's right. And so, um, with those two things being instilled in me, there was nothing that would hold me back. I mean, because I totally believe. You know, the word says a man's talent would make room for him and bring him mm-hmm. before great men. Yeah. And I believe that. I mean, because yes. it has. Right. So, um, you know, I, I don't take anything for granted. I don't take relationships for granted. I don't take Good. just meeting. I, 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 I love what I do. And, it, and it's been wow. very, very productive for me. How did your friends adjust to 
the change? Um, I did lose a couple. Yeah. I did lose a couple. A couple of my friends were continuously seeing me on TV, mm-hmm. and uh, they thought that I should help them um, because they were not understanding the work that got behind me, um, you know, getting on TV. They just mm-hmm. thought, oh, TV, pull me from Houston, help me. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's not like that. And so I did lose it's a couple. Yeah, I did lose a couple. <laughs> it's um, really not. But the ones who I've had for more than uh, 17 years, they're, they're still in my pocket. I love oh, them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with that, <laughs> we're talking about Mama and yeah, Angels, yeah. we're going to toss to a break right now. Right. And this is Entertaining Angels, cool. CJ Emmons. <laughs> Does the change in your pocket give you more authority? Cause the change in his pocket is the reason he can get on his feet. Speaking of you, or were your thoughts too busy overlooking the obvious truth? While you're running the race, you ain't winning. Your voice was needed to end his suffering. Hard and not your heart, so your ears can hear the inner. looks great. Thank you. What's your secret? Frankincense and myrrh oil by Ancient Essence. Frankincense and myrrh oil by Ancient Essence? Yes, it's a beauty secret used since the time of the Greeks and the Romans. This spa in Malibu told me about frankincense and myrrh by Ancient Essence, and now my skin is lovely. Yes, your skin looks great. Call Ancient Essence at 1-800-627-9813. Discover the secret of beautiful skin. Call 1-800-627-9813. Discover the secret. Frankincense and myrrh oil by Ancient Essence. Discover the secret of beautiful skin. Available at fine spas and beauty centers. Hi, this is Julie Orlov inviting you to join us every Friday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for our all-new show, Pathways to Love. 
Join us as we talk about love and relationships and how you can create the relationships you desire. So don't forget to tune in to Pathways to Love every Friday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, exclusively on latalklive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B, Live 365, Radio Flag, and now Stitcher Radio, or watch and listen directly at latalklive.com. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Instead of telling me to my face, you woke up with me over the Hey, welcome back to GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio, LA Talk Live, y'all. I'm Trisha Mann Grant. And I'm Ro Williams. Hey, hey, and we've got Mr. C.J. Emmons What's in the What's cracking, everybody? Because <laughs> it's yeah. all about the music today. It's yeah. all about the music. Thank I you. like that. Thank you. Entertaining angels. Thank I really you. like that. Yeah. And that was uh, Walk Away. What, that now, what's that about? Because we only <laughs> got like a little snippet. <laughs> I know, we just got a little Walk bit. Away. Woo, Uh-oh. I tell you. <laughs> like, um, it, 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 it's partially um, autobiographical. and. Uh, you uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's and, it, and it's partial somebody else's story. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. One of the producers again, uh, David Smith. He he just broke up with his girl, mm-hmm. and I said, "Well, tell me about it." You know, and he told me about it, and I said, hmm, "Sound like you need to walk away." Uh-huh. And he was like, "No, nah, I just I just can't," because he kept talking about how, you know, it was uh, he would get happy when she would call him again, and then he didn't know where to put his feelings. And I said, "You know what, man? I went through that about nine years ago." I said, "Huh." Went down to Florida. Was down there with my cousins, uh, Christy Ferris and uh, mm-hmm. Jason Ferris. Wait, I and, know uh, Christy. That's yeah, your cousin. Christy. Yeah, yeah. I and know so, you guys and so, because so, uh, we did the play with Christy. And so, and so, oh, um, <laughs> went down there and uh, I had the track and I actually wrote two different songs for the same track and I presented them to both uh, Grant, but I wanted Smitty to hear it and I mm-hmm. said, "What do you think?" And he heard the first and he's like, "Nah, I like, like the second one." Hmm. And you have walk away oh, right. and, and let me also int- uh, say this uh, there were some talented musicians that played on the album as well uh, mr jamie Arendt, he had a birthday the other day and uh mr tim mckay and they're also uh, wonderful musicians themselves and wow. uh, horn parts and guitar and uh, also josh fowler uh they all played uh on the album and i really really appreciate and thank them for doing that happy birthday y'all yeah scorpios yeah. in the house yeah. november 3rd right here <laughs> november 3rd. my mom was november Ooh. 2nd so oh, yeah she's a special lady oh yeah she is. oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but That's walk good. away. Yeah, it was um, it was both of our journeys, and uh, it it came out. I remember being in the studio crying as I was singing it, and it's very therapeutic for me. So I mean, it's, it's something that you said to hear a man say you 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 you're out of a relationship. Yeah. You're still not out of it emotionally. Oh yeah, you, get a call I mean, you know what? Well, we go you, through that. I mean, it is we we, we put up yeah we put up we put up a facade because we men, you know, and 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 we don't really think that it's acceptable to show that side of us, but but. Me, I was raised with a woman, so I got the sensitivity and all that stuff. So I, I have to learn how to pull back from it because I'll cry in a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it, it's 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 there, it's there, and my emotions come out of my music. So yeah, good. You catch us at the right time, we'll cry in it. We go Oprah on you. <laughs> well, I was watching a uh, what's that? It was a Richard Pryor with the kids. I just was watching it this morning. Yeah. I can't even remember anyway, but the kids on the bus and they were they're trying to get uh, to Mississippi yeah. or whatever. <laughs> I was crying it's on that one. Yeah. I was at home watching Hotel Richardson. Rwanda the other day and was just boohooing. Oh, I was oh, like, oh, what's oh, wrong with me? I'm yeah. like, ah. Oh. I yeah. saw one of those old coffee commercials when the guy comes home, you know, from being in the army after a long time. And, you, and that, just, <laughs> that just did something to me. <laughs> and we won't talk about the YouTube yeah. videos. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I saw Mr. Rogers' YouTube video. The kid was crying on that too. I was like, you're going Make What's me cry right now. <laughs> Over what? Mr. Rogers. No, Mr. Rogers <laughs> Mr. has a. Uh, I was crying on that. T- I'm like, yeah. what is wrong with me? I was me? crying on Barack when he was crying. Oh. He was crying. And I didn't <laughs> know. see that. But yeah, you, know what? you know, tears are I good, though. They're cleansing. They're, you know, get it all out. Their oh, tears are great. Help yeah. You keep from, you know, laying hands on somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, let me ask you do yes, you ma'am. ever get nervous because yes. you're so confident on stage Ooh, yes. and you know you got the gift right yeah right. um i, I like the way you said that do that one more time you know you got the gift the gift yeah we like well the thank gift. you <laughs> um yes i am yes. nervous um up until the point of the song ending um i i completely zone out i sometimes don't know what i do i sometimes look at videos and say i did that like, right. what's wrong with me um mm-hmm. i i I put up a shield because 
it's entertainment. And when it's my stage, it's my stage and anything goes with me. And I, and I don't hold back. I, I, I totally operate in what God has given me. I fully operate in that. Mm-hmm. And um, it's like his presence takes me over and I, I, I just I go for it. And mm-hmm. and thank you. You know what, Trish? Thank you for saying that, because a lot of people confuse the on stage persona with the regular person. And when they see me, they're like, what's up, Devo? What's up? Super? And I'm like, hey. thank you for hey. that. But that's not really that's the stage. <laughs> you know, that that's yes. at, at home. I'm yes. chilling at home eating. <laughs> I cook all the time. And so I have you're I have humble folks. Yeah. Stage yeah, because, yeah. No, really, you you are. I have to be honest. Mm-hmm. You are miss. Is that the word misperceived? Um, you are. I am. Yeah. By, by some. Yeah. And that don't really know you. Yeah. Because on stage, honey, you, I know you haven't seen him, but sis, he is like Well, you a exude beast. a confident Thank energy you. about you, <laughs> which can be very intimidating yeah, to, yeah. to some that yeah. may have equal or lesser talent yeah, that yeah. feel like you will, you know, take some of their shine. And it bothered me for a while. You know? It bothered me up until about, I say, a year ago. Um, it, 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 I just had to learn how to say, you know what? God makes me operate in this way. I don't take any, you know, this is not me. Mm-hmm. It is, it's, I'm operating what God has given me and mm-hmm. I can't do it any other way. I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm a fighter and this is what I do. Gotcha. So, um, but off the stage, we can go chill out. Let's go get some, Aww. you know, blow pops. Go to, Let's go get some food. Let's go to pants. Let's go to pants. You know what I'm saying? Well, speaking Let's go of what out. God has given us, he yeah. has given us some callers. Uh, the cool. number here is 323-247-7443. This cool. is gospelrhythms.com. Talk live radio caller. You are on the air. Who are you and where are you calling from? Hello. Hi, this is Aretha. 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 Hey, Aretha. Aretha Franklin. Girl, is that you? <laughs> oh, this is another singer on the phone. Another singer. She okay. comes from the famous Scruggs family. All Hi. right. All right. Welcome, How you doing, Aretha? Aretha? Hi. I missed the conversation except what was just happening, but I just wanted to call in and say hello to my friend CJ. Hey. Oh, you supporting CJ. What part of the country are you calling I am from? I always support CJ. Good girl. We love it. We love no, it. No, we were talking about actually what you and I discussed one day. We were talking about how people confuse the onstage persona with the person who's on the outside. The one you sit at home with me and watch uh, Netflix. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> right. I like Netflix. Me too. Mm-hmm. me too. Did you hear him? Did you hear him, Aretha? What's that? Did you hear that? <laughs> she watching her soap opera, honey. <laughs> no, I said we were talking about what you said about, you know, people confusing the onstage persona with who I just really am. You know, the chill That's seat. Right. Yeah. So tell us, Aretha, who is he? We want the dirty. We, the want, real the, we want the real, the real deal, deal about Mr. C.J. Christopher uh, <laughs> Jermaine <laughs> Rodriguez. <laughs> C.J. C.J. is a very real <clears throat> A very real man of God. He knows who he is. I don't know. You know, I've known CJ probably for the last almost two years now. So I don't know what what he's been through. You know, a, a diamond and a smooth stone, you know, was once <laughs> a hard rock. So I don't, you know, <laughs> sometimes life situations take through a lot of things. Well, I don't know mm. all that CJ's been through, but I know mm. that he is a very wise, experienced not only vocalist, but a really a man of God. He mm. uh, has spent time, um, he really spends time caring for other people and speaking life into them, especially artists. And so that is why I'm a, definitely a supporter, CJ. We, <laughs> we have been through, uh, <laughs> we took some music classes together and, you know, we just had some very real conversations. And sometimes it's hard to be an, no, not sometimes, it is hard to be an artist. Yes. And to have people actually understand you yes. and understand, you know, that you've been given a gift. And, you know, sometimes you have to push against everything to walk mm, in that gift. And that's right. Um, that is exactly what he is. He's well, said. Thank so, you, well said. Thank you, Well said, Aretha. Thank you. Tears in my eyes. <laughs> this man is cool. You got it. Thank you, now, you, your project, CJ, is mm. a secular project. It is, So, yeah. you being a man of God in this industry of mm-hmm. entertainment, yeah. you've seen a lot, have probably been through a lot. Yeah. How is it challenging to, or how important if you, you know, maybe you can speak to someone who is trying to not compromise their mm-hmm. gift or sell out mm-hmm. or just, just stay committed to being a man of God or a woman of God and yet try to advance in the business of entertainment what oftentimes what they want to exploit mm-hmm. or yeah. have tr- entrapments to lure you mm-hmm. to make you think this is what you need to do to get to the next level. I have simply to say to thine own self be true. 
<laughs> um, you know the difference between right and wrong. Uh, you know um, everything comes with a price, uh, regardless if it's good or bad. Um, and I believe that if you totally just hang on to what your morals are, to what your beliefs are, um, and if you just want to do good and do good music and do, you know, because we're talking about music, that your passion, your gift, your talent will make room for you. I have to rely on the Bible because his word says it. It will make room for you. If you just hold on, mm -hmm. it will totally happen for you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still in the midst of trying to get a record deal. Mm -hmm. Still in the midst of it. Mm -hmm. I know that it's going to happen because it's on my heart to get one. But the way that God has designed my career so far, I've done so many things back behind the scenes um, as far as like uh, producing artists, coaching artists. Um, I was an, uh, a judge like the Simon of uh, one of China's uh, biggest um, a talent shows called Top Idol. And um, I got an opportunity to do that for four years. Uh, and when you see that side of it, um, I'm also... Uh, the artistic director over at Hori Pro Music, which is uh, one of Japan's biggest record labels. When you see how your journey sometimes has to go to get what you want, mm -hmm. then you know that, oh, okay, I am doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. So simply, to thine own self be true. Right. Do right. Mm -hmm. Don't ever compromise your morals. Don't ever compromise your Christianity. Don't ever compromise anything that will make you feel like I shouldn't be doing this. If you feel like that, you shouldn't be doing yeah, it. Exactly. So um, and to those young ladies out there who feel like that they have to expose themselves to things like that. Trust me, I'm a man who don't want to see you like that. Mm, I want to see you represent yourself as a woman like my mom represented herself. Good. So, good you know, yeah, I definitely yeah. need to have you on man talk. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah, I, I want to come to that. Yeah, I want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. No. Now, now you mentioned earlier about marketing mm -hmm. and you have an entire marketing team. Mm -hmm. So what would you give, how would you give advice to someone as far as marketing is concerned? Um, as far as marketing is concerned, uh, you have to know which type of artist you want to be. If you want to be independent and uh, you want to, you know, go that route, I, I didn't. Mm -hmm. And that's why I pull the album back. Um, if you want to, you know, be independent, make sure that you're on all the social medias um, and that you're doing uh, shows. Like, you know, you're just constantly putting your face out there, you know, 24 uh, seven. If it's a little 10 minute spot, you got to sing it. If it's a two minute spot, you got to sing. Keep doing it. You know, okay. um, just be seen. I say be seen. Don't go to every casting call. Don't go to every um, networking social event go to the right ones mm -hmm. be around the right people you don't gotta you don't have to do everything yeah. do the right thing exactly yeah i always do the right things and if you yeah. walk in a room and you get the spirit to walk back out just walk <laughs> go ahead out. and do it yeah <laughs> yeah right always there. be led always mm -hmm. be led yeah mm -hmm. don't um, compromise and as far as a big marketing thing um i'm actually I'm kind of dancing around it because I have some things that are going to come out that I am going to talk about it later on. Mm -hmm. So um, just make sure that you guys go to cjemmons.com and just keep it locked in there because I got a couple of surprises that are going to come out. cjemmons.com. Yeah. Emmons well, we have a couple of cuts on here, too. I want to just yeah. do like, you know, yeah. Now I have uh, your pick. I have Just Be Friends, Ooh. Therapy, Ooh. Like that. and Make It Funny. You, uh, let's do, that's Make It Funky now. now. Oh, we make can it make funky. it funky. Make oh, it I don't funky. have my glasses. Uh, no, glasses. you know what? <laughs> make it funky. Let's let's Woo! let's liven up. Let's play some make it funky. Make it funky. Let's play okay, some. I on. gave wait, a tribute. Wait, 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 hold up. I have to... There it is. Yeah. Right. Does it? I gave a tribute to all uh, some of the fallen uh, major funk artists who mm. were my influences on there on the bridge. And um, it was like, uh, you got James Brown who can put it down. The godfather of soul, his feet bless the ground. Isaac Hayes put bald heads on the map. Black Moses, so master, shut your mouth. So it's, it's like all that's in there. So I love this song. Love it. Love it. You wrote it. I wrote this. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's actually David Smith at the beginning. All right. Yeah. We're going to listen to this. And we're, no, we do, we're going to listen to this and come right back. Just a little bit. We can keep us on. Keep calling in, y'all. 323 247 We want to talk to you. We got Trisha Mann up in here, y'all. Come on. Me and Trisha go way back. Way Mike and Jockway. Back. If you don't believe. Yes. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> this is nice. Now, do you dance? Uh, I, I clown. Yeah. I clown. 
tell you sometimes. Can you have a show? You oh, can get down. Can oh, we go on YouTube so, and check oh, you out? Oh, oh yeah, you can go. Just type in CJ Emmons on YouTube. You can see me clown. You can see me go in. You can see me hit those whistle register notes, all that stuff. If they asked you to be yeah. on Dancing in, with the Stars, would you do it? In a heartbeat. <laughs> Who wouldn't? In a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, so people lost people lost yeah. Yeah. A good you know, friend of mine, Carmen, um, she's a, uh, the black lady that sings on the show, um, that wears the bendy. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a very good friend of mine. She and I were on the singing bee together for two seasons okay. on NBC. And uh, yeah, I... In a minute, in a minute, uh, in a minute. What happened to the singing bee? You know, um, when the writer strike came, mm -hmm. we were pushed back. Uh -huh. And then they um, preempted for, I think, um, heroes and things like that. Mm -hmm. And we lost our, we had the wow. largest audience on TV. We had over 13.5 million viewers a week watching the show. And they just let it go. And yeah, That's and they let it go. They thought that they were going to rely on just the, you know, the value of, oh, we got this audience. We're not going to do anything. Yeah. And Heroes, mm. when they put Heroes on, yeah, people Heroes were like, what was, happened? Then they yeah. kept changing our time slot. Then NBC canceled us. But then uh, Phil Gurren, who's a great guy, he does the uh, Miss America pageants, I believe, uh, with Ray Chu. And uh, he's executive producer on that show. Uh, he sold it to CMT. Mm -hmm. And now CMT does the version of the singing bee and things like that. So, But I'm going to say it was a great run. I loved everything that that allotted me. Um, I appeared on The View um, on, you know, Good Morning America. I, yes. it, it was it was great. So, yeah, love yeah, it. it was great. Yeah. Love it, love it. Yeah. And you are going to sing live for us ah, today. Yes, yes. So you're looking like a superstar. So do yes. we, we need to set you up. So you know, wait, I can sing right here. Are you can sure? I? Yeah, yeah, I can sing right here. Okay. Well, in the spirit of um, the radio station Gospel Rhythms, I, again, I want to thank you guys in LA Talk Live for having me on. Um, I appreciate it, Trisha Man. I love you. I love you. Thank sweet. you so much. Um, and again, uh, listeners, you can go to cjemmons.com uh, to... Uh, get all the news and updates on me. You can also go to CJ underscore Emmons at Twitter and uh, you will find me. And so, again, in the essence of what we're doing here, I do love the Lord. I praise him all the time. And I wanted to uh, leave you guys with this. Wait, wait, before yeah, you do, ahead, apparently we have a caller on the oh, line. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so this is Gospel Rhythms. I can talk live radio caller. You are on the air. Yes, you do have a call after several attempts. God is good. He did let me get through. <laughs> Thank you. What's hey, your what's name? You CJ was just about to make his uh, closing remarks, it sounded like. Well, it's okay, uh, we, but we, we let want you to in. talk to you. So, so who are we speaking to? This is Scott Allen. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. God <laughs> bless Sounded Sounding like Reverend Allen. Scott today. No, you, you sound like a minister, oh, yeah. Scott. I thought you were going to start Reverend rebuking you. us or something. <laughs> like, dropping a word. What are you doing? Allen playing that well, music. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Making it fuck it. Sounding like Reverend Scott. Yeah, yeah. How are you, Scott? I've had a chance to. I wanted to get a chance to chime in and talk to my castmates. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, That's right. And also my, my bandmate. <laughs> That's why you yes, know Scott. Absolutely. For for those that don't know in, in the audience, uh, we did a play called "If You Don't, don't Believe," believe yeah. written by the amazing writer Mr. Mike, Michael Ajakwe. Michael Ajakwe. And uh, Scott was in it. CJ, yes. myself, Tatiana Ali played yes. my little sister, Denise Christy, Williams, Ferris, Christy Ferris, and we brought Denise on board yeah. to produce it because we used all her music. Yeah. Tatiana sang all her songs. And Mr. Scott Bugs Allen won an NAACP yes. Theater yes, Award. <laughs> yes, musical director. So what's up, Scott? Talk to us. I'm just happy to hear, actually be able to talk to both of you at once, and, uh, <laughs> and I'm real pleased with what you got going on with Gospel Talk Radio. It's a, it's, it's refreshing to to hear us people in this business who can always give praises to God and yes. yeah. show how He's moving in our lives mm -hmm. and share it with uh, share it with the world and with our um, our friends in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, and you're doing good. What are you up to, Scott? No complaints. Um, <laughs> my band Third Scenario is still preparing to tour and. Uh, Meanwhile, whenever I can, I get to work with the, with the great C.J. Emmons. Thank you, sir. That's right. Yes. You know? so and he is. he is. Talented. Thank you, sir. He is talented. Yeah. Well, well, you know what we would love is if you could just share gospelrhythms.com, talk live radio with your friend, Scott. Tell him to check us out every Sunday, 4 p.m. Wow. And, uh, yeah, live, baby, because it's, all, it's live, worldwide, yes. you know? Woo! That's right. So we yeah. want to, in fact, since it's worldwide, yeah. we just want to give love to all the different 
countries and yeah. states and little cities and and districts and everything out there. Everyone listening. Uh, who do you know for sure uh, out there? I mean, we have listeners in Australia, in yes. Africa, Good day. Hey, in Russia, Africa, Europe. Australia. I mean, hey everywhere. Russia. <laughs> uh, hey you guys. Thank you. We truly, you truly know? appreciate your support. I was in London last year with Bobby Womack. So hey Europe. Wow. And Switzerland and yeah, hey Europe. And yeah. we're about to get it. Give you guys an extra special treat. Now, what's the song you gonna bless us? Oh well, wait. Did, and we didn't say bye to Aretha. Oh. Aretha, I'm sorry. To Scott, we just gotta call us. I know, hey, right? You're You're with us. You're you still hanging on? You're gonna okay, stay cool. with us, Scott? I'll stay with you. All right, we love you. Cool. All right, here we go. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it with what started me with it. I'm gonna do Whitney Houston's "I Love the Lord." And uh, if I may, is that cool? Yes, yes okay. of course. Is it? <laughs> I love the, the Lord. He heard my cry and pitied every groan. Long yes, I live and trumpets rise. I'll hasten to 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 his throne mm. there you go Oh. Ah, you had me scared because you started in the stratosphere. I was like, where did he go from here? Nowhere to go yeah, but up. The girl yeah. is making room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it has truly been a pleasure. Thank you for having oh, me. I appreciate it. You know, yeah. Mm, and we uh we definitely uh oh the spirit done hit her uh oh she can't even talk <laughs> this child is not at a loss for words I'm just saying, ah. I'm just saying. Oh, God bless you. God bless you, you know a, a lady at uh at a uh, Victor Orlando's party and I'll be really really quick yes. um I had never in my life had a had a had a person to cry for me singing mm-hmm. and um I that that her. touched my soul so much y'all yes. I mean I cried with her she came and she just came, uh held her head on my shoulder and yeah. she said you know what i've had no one she was from uh, sweden mm-hmm. she said i've never had anybody to touch me like that and mm-hmm. she just cried mm-hmm. and um i really i told her i give that straight to god because mm-hmm. that's nothing i don't do that that's god that's right that's, that's, god. Gotta give that's power yeah. Yeah. My mama yeah. noise give without power is commotion yeah. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. her name is sandra too by the way sandra i met her Thank she's you. nice yes. we have a caller on the air no oh, scott. Scott. scott's still on the phone yeah. go ahead scott, scott. hey yeah he's hanging you want to say something about our buddy singing what do I want to say about it? I'm, I've, I've gotten so used to it. Some people take for granted when they hear talent like <laughs> right. that. It's like, oh, that's you know, just CJ. That <laughs> place, but it's a very uncommon talent. Yes. Not only not only the talent, but the range and and uh, and, and the humility of the gift. Yeah. So everybody definitely. doesn't doesn't bring it that way, and that's everybody right. doesn't really recognize the source from which it comes. So. Hey man, so, uh, with his superstar glasses on, <laughs> yes. That's the cover of these You know bags. what? If he didn't sing so good, I would have made him take those glasses off a long time ago. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the top of the glasses, the bottom. He said that's the cover of the bag. He said, a like, brother yeah. is tired. Thank a brother you. is there go tired. The yeah. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Okay. A brother just is tired. All right, tired. put That's the glasses all. back on. You're okay. Good. All right, so Scott, <laughs> we we thank you so much for joining us, Aretha. If you're still listening, thank you for joining thank you, thank us you. and thank talking you, to us and calling in. And Scott, we're gonna have to wrap it up. So we're saying goodbye to you. Goodbye, we love everybody. you. And we'll see you on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the meantime, we are definitely gonna close out with uh, another one of your songs. Um, Let's see what this tune is. Oh, Just yeah. Be Just be friends. Just yeah. Be friends. Just yeah. be friends. I think that's kind of apropos. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And real quick, we just want to say hi to Rory Darvell, who has a show on December the 1st at West Angeles. Yeah. Rory has a show coming up, so let's go support him mm-hmm. at West Angeles Church here in Los Angeles, yeah. California. Yeah. It's uh, it's uh, 8 p.m. to 1 a.m., uh, $8 before 10 p.m. Yeah. Um, it's uh, That's a good price. Yeah. yeah. That's real good. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. just double checking. Oh no, wait, no, Is that the no, name actually, it? no, that's another event because he's texting me so many events that he's doing. <laughs> Rory, well, <laughs> you know, we'll no. try to have you I'm on. Like, yeah. I'm like, 
to some Wait, of the that's a Chris. I was like, 1 p.m. That's a little late. <laughs> no, it's uh, let's see. Uh, can I can I say one breathe. more thing? Let me help you. Yes. Yeah, um, I just want to say give a shout out to one of my vocal clients. Her name is uh, Raven Hannon. She's in the movie Cloud Atlas uh, with Halle Berry hey. and Tom Hanks. She's one of my wow. vocal clients. Hey, Raven. Hey, she and Raven. I did a song together. Um, it's big in Switzerland right now. Um, hello, Nobu Yamamoto. He's a VP over at Horror Pro and Grant Nicholas GNickMusic.com. Hit him up for any music. Scott Bugs Allen. Make sure you guys go see these artists when we are available in town because Third Scenario, go see everybody. That's right. That's his yeah. fan, Scott's yeah. fan, Third, yeah, Scenario. Third Scenario. And, and cjemmons.com. cjemmons.com is, is me. CJ underscore at Twitter. In, I'm right. sorry, CJ underscore Emmons at Twitter. There you Lord, go. Lord, you got yeah. so many names. Lord, I know, right? I know, I know. I'm confusing me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and Thanks, uh, uh, thank you, Trish. So yeah, 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 yeah. God and I just you. want to do a correction for Roy. Roy DeVal Restoration at West Angeles. It doesn't uh, have the... It just has uh, okay. very sketchy... Rory, we'll, we'll try to have him we'll, here. We'll get you in, Roy, yeah, we'll next yeah. week, okay? Yeah. Was, was that another phone call, Ness? Or are you doing some special <laughs> stuff over there? We love Ness. Ness is the best. Ness is the best engineer ever. Sir. You guys, thank you so much. This is GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio. CJ Emmons. Talk thank Live. you so much. Thank CJ you. Emmons. Just be friends. You're listening to. Thank you. Yes. CJEmmons.com. My partner in crime, Rosiana. Rosiana. How do you say your name? Virginia Johnson. Rosiana. <laughs> Rosiana Dotting Williams and yes. I'm Trisha Man Grant. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes. See you next week. Follow me. We know there are many choices in Internet radio, and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We